Thank you to our appropriations chair. I'm so glad we're in the best district uh, next, next to ours. To yours. Next to yours. Uh, glad to be in South Philly this morning. It is wonderful to be here. Um, I'm Joanna McClinton. I serve my neighbors in the next best district. The 191st legislative district includes communities in the Cobbs Creek sections of West and Southwest Philly, along with the lower end of Delaware County with both Darby and Yaden boroughs. And we are thrilled today to be here in a public school in the city of Philadelphia because it was just last summer that we were in a public school in the city of Philadelphia and we toured a building and saw the disrepair that folks, not only do our children go to school in these buildings, but so many people work in these buildings and for far too long it's been unsafe and we did not have the resources to put towards creating a solution, notwithstanding an almost 10 year lawsuit. But I'll have to borrow a phrase from my mother this morning, about four years ago, interestingly enough. We started a phrase in my house between my mother and who was then living, my granny, and we would say, help is on the way. We were saying help is on the way. It was always, you know, the summer and fall of 2020, if you see where I'm going with this. But we kept telling ourselves help is on the way. And I'm excited this morning to know that to every school district across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, help is literally on the way. Not only have we been aware of what's been going on, but the fact that so many of our colleagues spent hard time, our appropriations chair, Representative Jordan Harris, toured the state with the appropriations committee and the education committee, going in and out of schools, listening to the public. We always knew the problem, Senator Hughes. It wasn't that long ago I was working in the state Senate and it was a budget passing and I believe your words, Senator Hughes, were flim, flam, sham. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> the, the words for the budget, and I'm talking about just 10 years ago, folks, in 2014 when I was staff on the floor of the Senate was flim, flam, sham. There was no money for schools. Jobs were getting cut every day. Lunch ladies were losing their jobs. Our folks who give academic support were losing their jobs. Teachers were quitting because it was not tenable to remain in the profession. But I'm so glad, just a short, 10 years later, thanks to the hard work of these colleagues that are here and our governor, Josh Shapiro, and our lieutenant governor, Austin Davis, always working with us to put people first, we see significant investments. So right here where I live in West Philadelphia, we get 229 million in the Philadelphia School District. My neighbors that are across the invisible line in Delaware County, where Representative Regina Young and I serve the William Penn School District, they're getting an additional $6.8 million. And that's property tax relief for folks who live in communities when they thought they paid their bills get another one from the school district because of shortfalls in Harrisburg. But that time is over and the fight continues.